Good morning YouTube. There's lots of videos out there with LED light bulb teardowns. Due to the construction of many bulbs, opening one up to see what's inside is often a one-way project, as the bulb's destroyed in the process. So how about a way to see what's inside an LED bulb and find out how it works without destroying it? So this is the AC variable power supply and panel meter I recently added to my electronics bench. It turns out to be very useful for testing LED bulbs. Let me show you how. This is a little LED bulb I tore apart a few months back. Link to that video in the description. And I need to follow up that video with some better analysis of the circuit and also my theory on why all these bulbs failed in a relatively short time. But it turns out one of these bulbs still works enough for us to test. So I've screwed that bulb into the desk lamp that's plugged into my power supply. Good, let's turn on the supply and we have a nominal 120 volt output. You can see the meter is showing about 50 milliamps of current and 0.6 watts of power. So I'll need to remove those offsets from my reading. So I can turn on the desk lamp here and you can see the current rises a bit over 40 milliamps and the power about 0.9 watts. So now watch as I turn down the voltage and notice how the current and power fall off quite linearly. The 110, 100 volts, see as you go down, running the voltage down to 60 volts where the meter drops out and I can go almost down to zero. See over here I'm down about 25 and you can see the lights uh, still on. It's flickering a little bit and it drops out about there. So it turns out this bulb uses a capacitive dropper driver circuit and this is where a capacitor is used to create a voltage drop and limit the current for the LEDs without producing lots of heat. It acts almost like a resistor and that's what's shown by this linear current and voltage relationship. BigClive.com has some good videos on capacitive dropper drivers in LED lamps. Links in the upper right corner of the video and in the video description. Off screen I measured the bulb's power factor at 0.6. This is rather low due to being mostly a capacitive load. Okay, now let me plug in this 10 watt GE bright stick bulb into the lamp. So this bulb's listed as non-dimmable on the package. Off screen I measured a power factor of 0.73. So starting here at 120 volts we see about 10.4 watts of power and around 138 milliamps of current. But note, as I drop the voltage, the current actually starts to rise. You can see it's going up, up to 180, 190, kind of peaks out around there and then starts to drop. And if I get down here to about 60, and note around 60 volts the bulb won't turn on if I switch it off and back on it won't come back on. So this rising current with voltage falling is reminiscent of a simple transformer and inside there's likely a DC to DC buck converter trying to maintain a constant voltage current and power to the LEDs. So it does this by drawing more current as the input voltage drops to the point the buck converter is fully on and then the current starts to fall. Electron Update did a teardown video on this bulb, link in the upper right, and indeed it does have a buck converter inside. Okay, this last bulb is a dimmable 10.5 watt Philips slim style high CRI or color rendering index bulb. So off screen I measured a power factor of 0 0.9 and I'll get this screwed into the lamp here. And we can switch it on. And so at 120 volts you can see about 10 and a half watts of power and around 90 milliamps of current. Actually it's showing about uh, 70 here. I think as it warms up the current will kind of change. Now watch as I reduce the voltage here, the current rises a little bit 
and then it, it stays pretty constant. In fact, it stays very constant. You notice the voltage is reduced, the current rose just a little to around 95 milliamps, and the power started falling off in proportion to the voltage. So this is a signature of the active dimming control circuit of the bulb operating. So it appears to work by maintaining a constant input current and reducing the power to the LEDs in response to the lower input voltage. Electron Update has a teardown video of a similar bulb on his channel and it's quite impressive that I can run this bulb clear down to 10 volts. And if I pop this up you can see the bulb is still illuminated. I can turn it off, on. You can see I can dim it clear down to uh, clear down to almost nothing. So that's quite impressive. I can run this bulb down to under 10 volts and it still turns on and off just fine. Interesting to note, this bulb lists 10 and a half watts and 96 milliamp operating current and I see those figures almost exactly. In the next video, we'll take a look at the current and power data from these three typical LED light bulbs. Don't forget to rate, comment, and share, and subscribe for more videos like this. And as always, thanks for watching.